Welcome back to the channel and welcome aboard the Red Bay 1150. This boat is the latest iteration in the well-regarded 11 meter series from Red Bay, featuring a completely redesigned hull and cabin. At 11.5 meters in length and with a beam of 3.5 meters, the 1150 is a CE category B vessel, meaning it's built to handle offshore conditions. She is powered by twin 370 horsepower inboard diesel engines and can reach top speeds of 45 knots with an efficient cruising speed that burns just 65 litres of fuel per hour. The 1200 litre underdeck fuel tanks are ISO 21487 compliant and designed for extended journeys. The boat is fitted with a 22 inch diameter hyperlong collar. If you subscribe to my channel, then I know that you love these rugged offshore coastal explorers and I'm sure you're gonna enjoy taking a look around this boat. So as you can see, you can access the bow of the boat via either the starboard side deck or the port side deck. As you make your way aft to forward, you've got plenty to grab onto over there as well. Over here on the starboard side of the cockpit, have a docking station very, very handy when you're coming stern too. And as you'll notice as well, we do have a gate both on the port side and again over here on the starboard side as well. Yeah. If you're wondering how we get access down into the engine bay, lift up this hatch right there. I was talking to one of the guys from the builders and they were telling me that if an owner wanted to, then you can configure uh, this superstructure slightly differently. Uh, you can have double doors uh, on this part of the superstructure as well, but you'll notice Got a radar up there, big aerials atop the coach roof. Over here, little CCTV camera so you can see what's going on out in the cockpit when you're helming the boat. And you'll notice as well, we've got some speakers up there on the overhang as well. Very nice touch. This boat is all about going out in the sort of conditions that most people would probably want to stay alongside. But when you are out, why not enjoy some of your favorite music with a really decent sound system? which is exactly what this boat has got. So into this area, of course, on the poor side, L-shaped seating area with a table, fixed table there as well. Again, uh, the chap I was talking to from the boatyard, Connor, was telling me that if an owner did want to, uh, then you can configure this part of the boat so you can have some additional berths aft as well. You notice over here on the starboard side, some more seating. And look, we've got a mini galley there as well. A fridge there with a sink up there. Right, let's take a step in so I can show you around. I love the fact that we have these two kind of sports swivel seats here as well, look. One over there on the port side, another one over there on the starboard side as well. But if I move forward a little bit and then pan around and show you aft, one of the things that you will definitely notice is just how much headroom you get in this boat. I mean, it is massive. And I love the fact as well that you have these skylights which are running amidships. Really, really, really great view. And of course you can open up this one as well. So if you want to get some additional sea air in here, then you can do that of course. Again, plenty to hang on to. Like I said at the beginning of the video, you know, this boat is made for going out uh, in the rough stuff. So you'll notice everywhere as we look around, there's plenty of things to hold on to, which of course is really, really important when you're making good progress through those white horses, which is something you'd definitely be doing on board this boat. Up there, look, some more storage so you can keep your glasses up there. Little coffee maker over there and plenty of PowerPoints as well. And yeah, look, we've got a couple over there. I did notice as well earlier on when Connor 
Just showing me around, you've got another couple down there as well, look. And if we look over on the starboard side, we have a microwave as well. Plenty of storage for a day boat like this. You've got some storage under that seating area, another one there. And look, there's that revolving sports type seat over there on the starboard side. Again, look, big old speaker. As I say, this boat has a really, really impressive audio system on board. I would love to hear what it sounds like being on here when you're pumping up some of your favorite tunes when you're exploring the coastline. Again, look, something to hold on to over there, look. And if I show you under this hatch, open up this. Okay, you can see over on the port side there, black water tank, midships, have the heater, water heater there, of course. And over on the starboard side, we have another tank as well. So, yeah, really good place to keep that. Let's shut that hatch back down. All right, first and foremost, before I show you the helm position, let me show you the navigator's seat. So again, very nice, comfortable, sporty seat on suspension struts as well. So it takes out some of the shock of the waves. I love the fact in this massive window, and something you'll notice as well when we are looking around, just how big these windows actually are. But I love the fact you can open this up as well. And of course, you do have that over on the starboard side in the helm position. But yeah, of course, VHF, Garmin radio over there, digital controls of the Fusion Entertainment System, large Garmin multifunction display there as well. And of course, over on the starboard side, the business end. Again, another Garmin multifunction display over there. Start stop switches. And of course, the windlass control over there on the right hand side of the helm. Underneath the helm, have the switches for the bilge pumps. And of course, look, there's some more information. So we're on the Storm Force 1150, built by Red Bay Boats Limited. Category B vessel. So yeah, you can go out in the sort of stuff that most people with a boat of this size would probably try and steer clear of. Over on the right hand side of the helm position, another Garmin control or Garmin display there, look. And digital displays for the Yanmar engines, the twin Yanmar engines. Twin throttle control levers there, look. Another Garmin VHF. By the way, if you want to upgrade any of the kits on your boats, then be sure to check out my Amazon affiliate stores. I will leave a link pinned in the comments. Back to the boat tour. If I sit here, so you can get a good idea of the view you get. So yeah, when you are operating this boat, especially if you're operating this boat on your own, you get a fantastic all round view. Thanks to those huge windows, look. Compass over there. And if I pan around to the starboard side, again, look, you can see just how much glass you've got here. Again, for those fantastic views. A little cubby space over in the overhead. And again, look, something else to hang on to. All right, let me show you into the accommodation on here. As I say, I mean, when I was talking to Connor, Connor was telling me that, uh, you know, it's a family business. They build these boats pretty much according to the spec requirements of the client. So this has been very much set up for, uh, specifically for the current owner of this boat. But if you're interested and you're looking around, you think, oh, I'll change that or I'll change this. And you do have a good level of customization as well. Over here on the port side, open up this. Of course, we've got the toilet, which is also a wet head as well. So a little sink over there. I'm not going to go in there and give you the standard salute. And of course, we have got the hose of the shower as well. So yeah, nice decent sized wet head on that. Close that door. And as you can see, we've got the V-berth there. If I take you in here, over there on the port side, got some storage space. Another skylight in here as well. More storage over there on the starboard side as well. And if I spin around and head aft, you can see on this bulkhead, we have all the various switches over here as well. Fuse panel, fire extinguisher, and a small LED light up there as well. But yeah, nice space. Definitely a really, really good space for a weekender. I'll be quite happy spending several days on board this boat. 
But yeah, if you are interested in more information about this particular boat and the boat builder, be sure to check out the link that I'll leave in the video description. In summary, the Red Bay 1150 is a robust and versatile vessel combining proven commercial performance with leisure comfort. With twin 370 horsepower engines delivering speeds of up to 45 knots, Category B certification and a range of high spec features like the Garmin navigation and a spacious cabin. This boat is designed for both offshore adventures and family cruising. A true all-weather go-anywhere craft. If you've got access to a boat you'd like me to feature on my channel, feel free to get in contact with me. You can contact me via my website and I'll leave a link pinned in the comments. Please don't forget to give the video a like and if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe.